Hello everyone, welcome to Compton for July the 12th. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> welcome still to Compton. <laughs> You've been busy. I haven't seen you around much lately. I know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Karen. Still busy. Welcome. Thanks for joining us tonight. Um, hey, Joe. Welcome to you and Barb. Hey, Katika. Hi, Katika. Katika, tomorrow we'll be where you are. Assuming you're still in Fairview. Hi, Karen. Hi, Barb. Hi, Mom. Hi, Rita. Uh, so tonight our hymn number is, oh, our uh, psalm, I mean, is number 90, no, not 98, 89. I reversed it. Oh, Tess, you're so lucky. It's a super long psalm for you to read. I'll tell you what, because I love you, I'll read the song. Thank you. You can sing the hymn. No. <laughs> um, our hymn, which I just lost because I took my thumb out of there, uh, is Here I Am, Lord. If I can find it again quick. Number 574, Nina Bush. Uh, so let's take a moment to quiet our hearts and minds. And we begin as it is good and wise to begin all things under the care of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, who in your self-emptying love gathered up and reconciled all creation to the Father. Innumerable galaxies of the heavens worship you. Creatures that grace the earth rejoice in you. All those in the deepest sea bow to you in adoration. As with them we give you praise. Grant that we may cherish the earth, our home, and live in harmony with this good creation. For you love, for you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. By day, O God, you grant your steadfast love, and at night your song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. Friends, let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. I confess to God Almighty before the whole company of heaven and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned by my own fault in thought, word, and deed. I pray God Almighty to have mercy on me. Forgive me all my sins and bring me to everlasting life. Almighty and merciful God, grant you healing, pardon, and forgiveness of all your sins. Amen. Amen. I confess to God Almighty, before the whole company of heaven, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned by my own fault, in thought, word, and deed. I pray God Almighty to have mercy on me, forgive me all my sins, and bring me to everlasting life. Almighty and merciful God, grant you healing, pardon, and forgiveness for all your sins. Amen. Amen. Do you want me to read the song? It doesn't matter. I can read it. I'm not singing. <laughs> I'm try to sneak that one in on you. It's, it's, it's sneaky. Psalm 89. Your love, O Lord, forever will I sing. From age to age my mouth will proclaim your faithfulness. For I am persuaded that your steadfast love is established forever. You have set your faithfulness firmly in the heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn an oath to David, my servant. I will establish your line forever and preserve your throne for all generations. The heavens praise your wonders, O Lord, and your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can be compared to the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the gods? A God who is feared in the council of the holy ones, great and awesome to those all around. 
Who is like you, Lord God of hosts? O mighty Lord, your faithfulness is all around you. You rule the raging of the sea and still the surging of its waves. You have crushed Rahab with a deadly wound. You have scattered your enemies with your mighty arm. Yours are the heavens, the earth also is yours. You laid the foundations of the world and all that is in it. You have made the north and the south, Tabor and Hermon, rejoice in your name. You have a mighty arm, strong as your hand, and high as your right hand. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of your throne. Love and truth go before your face. Happy are the people who know the festal shout. They walk, O Lord, in the light of your presence. They rejoice daily in your name. They are jubilant in your righteousness. For you are the glory of their strength, and by your favor our might is exalted. Truly our shield belongs to the Lord, our King to the Holy One of Israel. You spoke once in a vision and said to your faithful people, I have set the crown upon a warrior and have exalted one chosen out of the people. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him. My hand will hold him fast and my arm will make him strong. No enemy shall deceive him, nor shall the wicked bring him down. I will crush his foes before him and strike down those who hate him. My faithfulness and steadfast love are with him, and he shall be victorious through my name. I will set his hand on the sea and his right hand on the rivers. He will say to me, You are my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. I will make him my firstborn and higher than the kings of the earth. I will keep my love for him forever, and my covenant will stand firm for him. I will establish his line forever and his throne as the days of heaven. If his children forsake my teaching and do not walk according to my judgments, if they break my statutes and do not keep my commandments, I will punish their transgressions with a rod and their iniquities with the lash. But I will not take my love from him, nor let my faithfulness prove false. I will not break my covenant, nor change what has gone out of my lips. Once for all I have sworn by my holiness, I will not lie to David. His line shall endure forever, and his throne as the sun before me. It shall stand fast forevermore, like the moon, the abiding witness in the sky. But you have cast off and rejected your anointed. You have become enraged at him. You have broken your covenant with your servant, defiled his crown, and hurled it to the ground. You have breached all his walls and laid his strongholds in ruin. All who pass by plunder him. He has become the scorn of his neighbors. You have exalted the right hand of his foes and made all his enemies rejoice. You have turned back the edge of his sword and have not sustained him in battle. You have put an end to his splendor and cast his throne to the ground. You have cut short the days of his youth and have covered him with shame. How long will you hide yourself, O Lord? Will you hide yourself forever? How long will your anger burn like fire? Remember, Lord, how short life is, how frail you have made all mortals. Who can live and not see death? Who can escape the power of the grave? Where, Lord, is the steadfast love of old, which you promised David in your faithfulness? Remember, Lord, how your servants are mocked, how I carry in my bosom the taunts of many people, the taunts of your enemies. O Lord, the taunts which they hurled at the heels of your anointed. Blessed be the Lord forever. Amen and amen. That was long. And amen. And you amen. mean deeply edifying. Deeply edifying. Mm-hmm. See what I'm working with here. Some days. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Heidi. Thanks for joining us tonight. Welcome, Robin and Rebecca. Hey, Doug and Lori. Blessings to you. Thanks for joining in. Hey, Chris. It's Chris Terry. Hi, Tammy. Yeah, no, you so missed it. I read it, and and then I read Psalm 88 because 
I know. It's 87 was short. I heard so you short. say something about the short song yesterday. It was so short. Karen Shouldn't missed it. Shouldn't have joined in today. Oh well. Could have had it yesterday. I could have, but I. I'll write on your calendar in the future the next very short song. Thanks. You're welcome. This is this is what I do because I love you. Mm -hmm. You're a good man. <laughs> Here I am, Lord. Uh, you're following in a hymnal, number five hundred seventy-four. Uh, this is Karen's favorite hymn today. <laughs> I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sing, my hand will save. I, who made the stars of night, I will make their darkness bright. Who will hear my light to them? Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord, if you lead me. I will hold your people in my heart. I, the Lord of snow and rain, I have borne my people's pain. I have wept for love of them. They turn away. I will break their hearts of stone. Give them hearts for love alone. I will speak my word to them. Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will go. If you lead me, I will hold your people in my heart. I, the Lord of wind and flame, I will tend the poor and lame. I will set a feast for them. My hand will save. Finest bread I will provide. Till their hearts be satisfied. I will give my life for them. Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. Is it I? you calling in the night. I will go, Lord, if you lead me. I will hold your people in my heart. Hey, Carrie and Curtis. Welcome.
Job 38 says, The Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind. Who is this that darkens counsel by words without knowledge? Gird up your loins like a man. I will question you, and you shall declare to me. Where were you when I laid the foundation of the earth? Tell me. If you have understanding, tell me. Who determined its measurements? Surely you know. Or who stretched the line upon it? On what were its bases sunk? Or who laid its cornerstone? When the morning stars sang together and all the heavenly beings shouted for joy? Or who shut the sea in with doors when it burst out from the womb? And when I made the clouds its garment and thick darkness its swaddling band and prescribed bounds for it and set bars and doors and said, thus far you shall come and no farther and here shall your proud waves be stopped. Have you entered into the springs of the sea or walked in the recesses of the deep? Have the gates of death been revealed to you? Or have you seen the gates of deep darkness? Have you comprehended the expanse of the earth? Declare it if you know all this. First Timothy 4, 4 says, Everything created by God is good, and nothing is to be rejected, provided it is received with thanksgiving. Hi, Tiffany. Let's sing together our responsory. Your part goes like this. Into your hands I command my spirit. Into your hands I command my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I command my spirit. Into your hands I command my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord God of life. Into your hands I command my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands I command my spirit. Guide us, waking, O Lord and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Hi, Mama Maquat. Friends, for what and for whom shall we pray this night? Hi, Michelle. Hear my prayer, O Lord, 
Listen to my cry. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. In righteousness I shall see you. When I awake, your presence will give me joy. We want to pray tonight with Hannah for her friend Erica and through her for all uh, who wait in the midst of troubling symptoms, uh, who wait for diagnoses and for more tests to be completed, who wonder and suspect or expect the worst as far as what is the cause. Lord, draw near to yourself all people, especially Erica this day, who wait and watch and worry. Come alongside them, Lord, in the midst of their ordeal. In a way that gives them courage and hope and light uh, to move forward through it. So that no matter how deep or dark the valley becomes, they can see in you an ending and have courage to walk uh, the paths they must. In the meantime, Lord, we pray your healing hand and heart to pour out over all those who are ill. Grant them the healing, the wholeness, and the health that are your will. And may your kingdom come on earth and to us as it already is in heaven. Lord, we lift up to you this night all our young people who struggle for a sense of purpose, meaning, belonging. All those for whom the transition from childhood and adolescence into adulthood becomes rocky. For those who fear that they've lost their way, Lord, and because they've lost their way, they fear uh, that there is no way back. We give you thanks, O God, that you are a God who leaves the 99 to seek the one. You are a good, good father who waits at the edge of the property for that prodigal to return. Lord, we lift up to you Mackenzie and Tiffany. Pray that you'd continue to surround them with positive role models and supports. Speak to them, Lord, in ways that they can hear and understand of their worth in your eyes and bring them through every trial. O oh God, it is your will to hold both heaven and earth in a single piece. Let the design of your great love shine on the waste of our wraths and sorrows and give peace to your church, peace among nations, peace in our homes, and peace in our hearts. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray with uh, Tiffany this night for people who have been sexually assaulted. We pray, Lord, that you would um, draw near to them in a way that casts out all shame and all sense of victimhood. Help them to know in a deep way that we are not what we do or what happens to us, but that our true self lies secure in you and who you say we are. Almighty and most merciful God, we call to mind before you all whom it is easy to forget, 
those who are homeless, destitute, sick, isolated, and all who have no one to care for them. May we bring help and healing to those who are broken in body or spirit, that they may have comfort in sorrow, company in loneliness, and a place of safety and warmth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, we lift up before you all our frontline workers, especially uh, healthcare workers and emergency service providers. We pray for our first responders, uh, EMTs and paramedics, for firefighters, police officers. We lift up to you uh, our emergency workers, triage nurses and emergency docs, uh, the hospital cleaning staffs that are working around the clock, the pharmacists, we lift up to you surgeons and care aides, porters, and the patients in these hospitals, Lord. We pray especially today for the Misericordia Hospital in Edmonton and all places undergoing outbreaks. Lord, that you would settle over these places and bring calm and peace in the midst of chaos and fear. Lord, we pray giving thanks for the relatively low levels of COVID-19 infection in Canada. We give thanks for your protection in that. And we pray that you'd continue to work uh, to extend through your people a sense of responsibility and care of their neighbors, of our neighbors, so that we might continue to keep the infection rates low. But Lord, we want to cry out in faith to Praying, Lord, that you would release your people from amidst this plague, this pandemic. Lord, do that how you will, either supernaturally or uh, through your earthly agents. We trust, in, place our trust in you, knowing you are the final source of all our healing. Be present, merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of life may find our rest in you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the day especially for the good we were committed to give and to receive. The day is now past and we commit it to you. We entrust to you the night. We rest securely for you are our help and you neither slumber nor sleep. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Jesus, remember us as you usher in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father Amen. in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Now in peace I will lie down and sleep. You alone, O God, make me secure. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right, friends. Thank you very much for the um, prayers for traveling mercies and the well wishes. We will see you in approximately one week.
And while we leave you, blessing Cindy. Thanks for joining in tonight. Um, as we leave, hey Tyler, blessings cuz. As we leave, we'll leave you with a bedtime story. Another favorite Canadian author who like, if you're already feeling bad about yourself and life's accomplishments, never read anything by Chris Hadfield. A wonderful Canadian, but he's done like absolutely everything, <laughs> including writing a children's book uh, called The Darkest Dark. The Darkest Dark. See if we can get our light a little lower. Whoa. There we go. The Darkest Dark by Chris Hadfield. Chris was an astronaut, an important and very busy astronaut. When it was time to take a bath, he told his mother, I'd love to, but I'm saving the planet from aliens. And when it was time to get out of the bath and go to bed, he told his father politely, because astronauts are always polite, sorry. No can do. I'm on my way to Mars. Well, an astronaut's work is never done. So, astronauts do not like to sleep. But their parents do. Chris, you're a big boy now, said his father. You have to sleep in your own bed. And Chris tried, he, he really did. But his room was dark, very, very dark. The kind of dark that attracts the worst sorts of aliens. But his parents meant it. Chris was going to sleep in his own bed tonight. And so his mom and dad checked under his bed and in the closet and even in his underwear drawer. They decided the room was 100% alien free. They tucked Chris in, they turned on the nightlight, and they even gave him a special bell to ring if he was nervous. Clang! Clang, clang! Clang, clang, clang! They took away the bell. And then his father said something. That worried Chris even more. More than the dark ever did. One more peep, young man, and I am afraid that you'll be too tired to go next door tomorrow. But tomorrow would be a special day, a very special day. Chris had to go next door. His life pretty much depended on it. And so Chris stayed in his own bed without a peep. It took a long time to fall asleep, but when he did, he had his favorite dream. He flew his spaceship all the way to the moon. The flag says Chris and Albert, his pug.
while the next day seemed to last forever. But finally, when the moon was shining over the lake and the summer wind was ruffling the leaves of the trees, Chris ran next door. The house was already full of people, all gathered around the TV, the only TV on the whole island. Chris found a spot where he could see through the crowd, and what he saw was astronauts. Real, live astronauts on the actual far away moon. They were wearing puffy white suits and jumping for joy, jumping so high because there was so much less gravity up there. Well, the grown-ups huddled around the TV and they were amazed. Their whole lives long, they never expected to see this sight. Even Chris, who'd been to the moon just the night before, was amazed. He'd never actually really noticed how dark it was there. Outer space was even darker than his bedroom. Outer space was the darkest dark ever. That night, Chris did a little experiment. He turned off all the lights in his room, even the night light. It was still dark, very, very dark. There were still shadows that looked, well, a little like aliens. Nothing had changed, but Chris had changed. He'd seen that the darkness of the universe was so much bigger and deeper than the darkness in his room. But he was not afraid. He wanted to explore every corner of the night sky. And for the first time, Chris could see the power and mystery and velvety black beauty of the dark. And he realized, you're never really alone there. Your dreams are always with you, just waiting, big dreams, about the kind of person you want to be. Wonderful dreams about the life you will live. Dreams that actually can come true. the end. Good night, friends. Rest in the darkest dark, knowing that the lightest light, the source of it all, has chosen you, protects you, and provides for you. So sleep resting in that knowledge that you might root and rise to be of good service.